From Paramount Studios in Hollywood, it's television's most exciting new game, Wipeout! And here to pit their knowledge and strategy against the Wipeout are... Russ Bielfeld, Nell Stesla, and Jason Wright. And the one who fares the best could drive off in this brand new car. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, the star of Wipeout, me. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we're back for another edition of Wipeout. And we've got a treat for you here today, ladies and gentlemen, because we have co-champions with us. And one of them is actually standing right next to me, and that is Mr. Russ Bielfeld. How are you, sir? <sighs> well, uh, very, very tired, very ill, but uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be like Jordan in the NBA Finals. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best. So this is basically the uh, flu game for you, for uh, those who may not know yeah. what he's talking about. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. This will be the flu game, and this will not be uh, LeBron James getting cramps from the air conditioning. <laughs> well, in any case, uh, well, in any case, Russ, you had a terrific outing last time, winning over twenty-six thousand dollars up front, and then you became our first car winner of the season, over eighty-eight thousand dollars worth of cash and prizes. You think you can win more today? Uh, well, I'm going to do my best. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. Uh, Nels, hi. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, well, <laughs> I want you to try to win some more money, too. You won a nice uh, trip the last time you were here, and that actually accounted for all your winnings in that game. Yes. $13,263. Do you think you can knock yeah, off plus? Yeah, because someone decided to sweep the board in the first round last time, but... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I'm ready to play again. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck, and we've got Mr. We've got Jason Myers with us. Hello, sir. Hi. All right, Jason, <laughs> uh, you have uh, not been on Wipeout yet this season, but you are a uh, bit of a veteran here when it comes to uh, hosting. Press your luck. Uh, definition, among other highlights. If we could call it that, sure. <laughs> Anyways, are you uh, ready to test your luck here on Wipeout? Yes, sir. All right, then. Let's get going. And the prize you are playing for today for the hot spot is some designer jewelry worth $2,230. Oh, that's so fabulous. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at our board for the first round. All right. For this one, you have to find some Burger King menu items. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, this one's for you, Hinkle. Yeah, great. I know Hinkle would probably know what all of these are. Uh, but, Russ, you're the one that's picking first. Good luck. Yeah, Let, let's start with the Whopper. The Whopper. I'm pretty sure that's a Burger King item. Yes, it is. All right, and you're off and running, Russ. Keep going or pass it over to Dells. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll pick another one. All right. Go again. And it's something that's twice as nice. The double whopper. Oh, you little punk! The double whopper. Yes, that's a Burger King item. All right, you're up to seven fifty, Russ. Mmm. I'll pick another one. All right. Uh, Bacon King. Bacon King. Oh, damn it! Yes! Alright, three in a row, Russ! Uh, well, I know a few of these that are not, but I'm going to go ahead and pass and see what happens. The pass to oh. Nels. Okay, hey. Nels! Oh, let me... let me look. Good lord. Let's see... Chicken fries! The, ch the good old chicken fries. Yes! Alright, Nels, that gets you a thousand dollars. I'm gonna try another one. I'm gonna try another one. Oh, um, Bacon cheeseburger? 
All right, that is right over here. The bourbon bacon cheese. Oh, no, 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 no. You said the regular bacon cheeseburger. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. Yes, and you found the hot spot. Woo! All right, and you're up to 2250 in cash. Keep going or pass it over to Jason. I think Jason knows it one. I'm going to try one more. All right. I'm going to say nuggets. The nuggets. Yes. All right. Thirty seven fifty for you, Nels. I'm going to go again. Okay. Original chicken sandwich. All right. Yes. There we go. All right. And you now have $5,500. I'm going to pass my friend Jason. All right, Jason, you're up. Yeah, I was thinking you were going to pull what one person pulled on you before. <clears throat> I'm not that evil. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. There's two of them that it's not. So I will say the Hershey Sunday Pie. Hershey Sunday Pie. Whoa, that's a delicious dessert treat. And Jason, that gets you two thousand dollars. Uh, I'll try again. All right. I think they recently added this, the bourbon bacon cheeseburger. Bourbon bacon cheeseburger. No, that is a... Well, what the hell? Yeah, no, that is not a Burger King item. So we go to Russ. Right. So... Well, let, let's go. Let's go for something breakfast related. How about a sausage biscuit? A sausage biscuit. Now, I didn't want to say anything before that wipeout happened, but we went quite a while before finding it. But I didn't want to say anything because, uh, well, you know. All right, Russ. Your uh, keep going or pass it over to Nels. Oh. Uh. Well, I think I, I think I know what the other wipeout answers are. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Uh, yeah. I was, no, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna see oh, if you, Russ, I'll see you taking by. I, uh, All right, Nels. It's been passed over to you. Taco salad. No. Fucking A. Alright, so there goes your money and that hot spot. Jason, yeah, you have another Ross. chance. I really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, let's see. And I know two days not, so really I got a two out of three shot on this. Let's go with the Angus Burger. Angus Burger. No, that is a what? Harvey's item. Uh. That's a Harvey's item. We're back over to you, Russ. Crap, bastard. All right. All right. Well, thank, well, thanks for that. I can clear the board now. Oreo cookie shake. Ah, oh, fucking a. And now you have the hot spot prize. You also have six thousand two fifty dollars in cash. One correct right. answer left to go, Russ. You want to see if you can try and find it? Uh, yeah, I, I am absolutely 100% sure I can find that. I know the Big Mac is McDonald's, the Baconator is Wendy's, so by the process of elimination, it's got to be the pancake platter. And there you go! $9,000, and Nels and Jason, it's a tiebreaker for the two of you. Hey, I'm just saying, I'm one for, I'm one for, I'm one and O oh in these. Normally after eating at Burger King, you're there's a process of elimination. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, stop. All right. We are looking for Nintendo Switch launch games. So basically, that means games that released on a Nintendo Switch within its first year on market. So basically, that means between March 2017 and March 2018. 
All right, and it is going to be Jason that picks first. Great. Now, I will say this with the tiebreaker. If a white belt gets found at any point, the other person advances. Good enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Yes, from the Legend of Zelda series. That came out on the same day that the Switch launched itself. Nels, go ahead. Um, 1-2-Switch. One, 1-2-Switch, one, yep, that is also a launch title. Jason, we're back to you. Um, Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey. Yep, released October of 2017, a very fun game. Nels, back to you. I'm going to say Mario Party Superstars. No, that came out last year, so Jason advances. You suck, Myers. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's see what the correct remaining correct answers were. We had Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which was April 2017. Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which also came out in 2017. Fire Emblem Warriors which I believe was mid-2017, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was December 2017, Splatoon 2, which was also in 2017. So it's going to be Russ and Jason going on to the challenge round, but now as you do have that trip from last time, so we hope you yeah, enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. Russ, kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nails needs some new panties. My God. <laughs> oh no. Oh God, Bergman. Hey Nails, at least he can wipe his own ass. <laughs> I, I have a joke. No, I, I, I can't. All right. Well, anyways, we are back here with Wipeout, and it is down to Russ and Jason. Let's put the money away that you've won for right now. I put away my nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jason, if you win this challenge round, actually, if you or Russ win this challenge round, whichever one of you that does get it will win a $7,152 trip to Orlando, Florida. Probably can't take it until after they've cleaned up from Ian. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's uh, take a look at the first challenge round board. All right. We are looking for movies that starred Angela Lansbury. All right, Russ, uh, what's your bid? Uh, give me just a second. I want to look around here. Uh, well, I definitely see uh, two movies that she was in. All right, so two. Yep. All right, Jason, bid or challenge? I'll say three. Three of them. All right, Russ. Hmm. Well, uh, four. Going with four. All right, Jason. Uh, do we hear five, or are you gonna challenge Russ? Uh. I'll go five. All right, going with five. Russ? Uh, yeah, I wish, wish I paid more attention to the obituary. I'm going to uh, challenge him to go for five. All right, Jason, five Angela Lansbury movies. Okay, well, she was Mrs. Potts and Beauty and the Beast. She sure was. Four to go. And I distinctly remember her being in bed knobs and broomsticks. Another good one. Alright, three to go. I want to say she was in Nanny McPhee. Okay. Yep. Two left. Uh, let's 
issues in the rescuers? Question mark. The rescuers. Uh, no, that had Jaja or. It had one of the good boards. I don't quite remember offhand which one it is. But Russ, if you pick one of the remaining two correct dancers, you get the first board. I think Angela Lansbury was nominated for an Oscar for Gaslight. Gaslight. And first board goes to Russ. Alright, what else did we need? Picture Dorian Gray, the Harvey Girls, Anastasia, and Mary Poppins Returns. So Russ, you're up one to nothing. Jason, you need this. And let's see who got our next board. Carmen San Diego Crooks. <laughs> now, I will yeah. point out. Eight of these are from the world version. The other ones are from the time version. We are looking for the crooks that were on the world version in this case. Got it. Alright, so Jason, uh, what's your opening bid? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eight. Oh! <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Russ, you can't uh, go higher than that. So, Jason, uh, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, brute. <laughs> <laughs> a very good impression, sir. Urfa Brute was most definitely a Carmen San Diego crook on the world version, anyway. Seven left. Nimoy. Yes, Nimoy is correct. Six to go. Top Crunch! Top Crunch! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Five left! Yep, you're halfway there! Double, double, trouble, trouble! Double, trouble, trouble, yep! Alright, three to go! Vic the Slick! Yep, Vic the Slick is indeed correct, you have two left! Robo crack. Alright. And that is correct. And I think we know what the last one is. <laughs> Soon that we all know it's Wonder Rat! Is it Wonder Rat? Yes, it is. And that's a sweep for Jason in the tie round. Servile, Jacqueline Hyde, Dr. Beljar, and that other one were all time crooks. So, we go to a tiebreaker here in this challenge round. Top 10 all-time NHL players. Oh, Alright, and the randomizer has decided that Jason is going to make the opening game once again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, out of all these names, I think I only know uh, three of them. Three. All right, Russ. Higher than that or challenge? Uh, looking through here. Uh, I will say four. Going with four, Jason. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, that's what she said. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Five. Going for five. Eight. Russ. Oh, I mean, hockey is my worst sports subject. But, hell, I may, I may be stretching myself a little too thin, but I'm going to try six. Ooh, okay. Jason, higher than that? Challenge, challenge, challenge. Challenge. Okay. Challenge. All right, Russ, you got to find I, I, six. I can't even with this boy. <laughs> well, what is going to come out ahead of the sport is the winner of the match. So, Russ, six names. Go. Yeah, yeah. well, I think you've got to start with the great one himself, Wayne Gretzky. Of course. All right, five left. Yeah, now let's move the other corner, Super Mario Lemieux. 
It's a me, a body of you. Oh, shut up, Leona. Good lord. <laughs> Four left for us. Right, right, right. Uh, Yarmu Yager. Uh, yeah. Who played with Mario Lemieux on those, uh, cup winning Penguins teams in the early 90s. Three to go. Alright. Uh, let's go with the uh, Rocket, Maurice Richard. Yes! And they've got the war named after him, of course. Two to go. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, well, a couple of these guys are recent. I don't know if they would be in top ten all time. So I guess I'm going to go for some more older players. Let, let's go with uh, Mark Messier. Mark Messier. Yes! Messier is in the top ten. One more to go, Russ. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh... I don't think it's that person. I don't think it's that person. Yeah, I'll ask. Well, I'm a. Uh, Martin Brodeur. A great goaltender, but was he good enough to make our top 10? He was not. Great goaltender, but was he good enough to make our top 10? He was not. Jason, you just have to find one of these remaining correct answers. Jason wins! <gasps> yeah, I thought of a vet skin, but I thought he was too recent to be in the top ten all time. Let's um, see the other ones that we needed. Don't feel bad. I don't know shit about hockey. <laughs> the other two that we needed were Sidney Crosby and Ray Bork. Uh, Sidney Crosby is another one I thought was too recent. All right, so Jason wins two to one, and he is one that tripped to Orlando. Well done. Alright, well, Russ, uh, your run ends here, but you did win the car last time. We are going to add your previous winnings and a hot spot prize to what you won today. And Russ, you leave us with $99,343. Almost a hundred grand for you in two days, Russ. Yeah. Very impressive. Alright, Jason, you're going to play for the car. In a moment. Yep. Neither one of us really knew shit about hockey. And just for the record, that was a leftover from last week that didn't need to be used, so. <laughs> Anyways, bonus round time for you, Jason, and if you can uh, win this bonus game, you'll drive out of here the 2023 Porsche Macan. Yep, first time yeah, that uh, we're playing for a different car since uh, Russ uh, won the one we had on our uh, show. And this Porsche Macan, Jason, is worth $64,735. Nice. All right. Now, for your sample board, we have the most valuable beer brands. And... Alright, so I have three right on that. Now, your board, Jason. Mm -hmm. Now, also, aren't you glad you're not dealing with this board? Oh, what is it? Generation 1 oh. Pokemon. <laughs> Sexy, sexy, Myers. Lord, Lord. Now speak on your not dealing with this. Uh, Jason, uh, good luck with this. Yeah, that's one. Lex, Cliff Ferry, Charizard, Eevee, Pikachu. All six on the wow. first guess! Wow! Oh, really fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, in any case, Jason, you have won that car. $71,887 for you. Well done. 
and <laughs> you and you get to come back next time where I and I guarantee we will not have a Pokemon board next time. I was about to say the next board is Gen two. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time on Wipeout, ladies and gentlemen. So long. <laughs>